Welcome to ActNotes Tutorials, my name is Professor Bert, and I am going to give you a quick tutorial on the software development process. What is the software development process? The software development process is the structured approach to developing software for a system or project, sometimes called the software development life cycle. There are several approaches that can be used to include waterfall, spiral and incremental development. These different approaches focus the testing effort at different points in the development process. However, each approach is comprised of the same basic steps of development. The definition of a software development process is a way to improve design and product management by breaking software development work into smaller steps or sub-processes that can be done in parallel or in order. What is the software development plan? The software development plan describes a developer's plans for conducting a software development effort. The software development plan provides the acquirer insight and a tool for monitoring the processes to be followed for software development. It also details methods to be used and the approach to be followed for each activity, organization, and resource. There are four basic steps associated with the software development process. These steps are Step 1 – Planning Step 2 – Implementing Step 3 – Testing And finally, Step 4 – Deployment and Maintenance I will go over each step in more detail next. The first step I will discuss is, step number one, planning. Step one is an important task in creating a software program is requirements analysis. Customers typically have an abstract idea of what they want as an end result, but not what software should do. Skilled and experienced software engineers recognize incomplete, ambiguous, or even contradictory requirements at this point. Frequently demonstrating live code may help reduce the risk that the requirements are incorrect. Once the general requirements are gathered from the client, an analysis of the scope of the development should be determined and clearly stated. This is often called a statement of objectives. The next step is implementation. Implementation is the part of the process where software engineers actually program the code for the project. This can be the most time-consuming part of software development. It's vital that programmers adhere to a strong development process to ensure the correct software is developed. The third step is testing. Software testing is an integral and important phase of the software development process. This part of the process ensures that defects are recognized as soon as possible. It can also provide an objective, independent view of the software to allow users to appreciate and understand the risks of software deployment. Software testing can be stated as the process of validating and verifying that a software program or product meets the requirements that guided its design and development, works as expected, and can be implemented with the same characteristics. The fourth and final step is deployment and maintenance. Deployment starts after the code is appropriately tested, approved for release, and sold or distributed into a production environment. This may involve installation, customization, testing, and possibly an extended period of evaluation. Software training and support are important, as the software is only effective if used correctly. Maintaining and enhancing software to cope with newly discovered faults or requirements can take substantial time and effort, as missed requirements may force software redesign. There are four main types of software development approaches. These are 1. The waterfall approach. Development activities are performed in order with possibly minor overlap, but with little or no iteration between activities. 2. The incremental approach. Determines user needs and defines the overall architecture, but then delivers the system in a series of increments, software builds. 3. The spiral approach. A risk-driven controlled prototyping approach that develops prototypes early in the development process to specifically address risk areas followed by an assessment of prototyping results and further determination of risk areas to prototype. And finally, Agile and Scrum. A development process that uses a dynamic and iterative way to build software. In contrast to the strict, sequential flow of the waterfall approach. Each of these approaches focus on testing at particular points in the development process. I go over each of these approaches in another video. The final topic I would like to discuss is software metrics. Software metrics should be an integral part of the software development process. Program management offices should gain insight into proposed metrics during source selection, and developers should commit to the consistent use of those metrics, including collecting, analyzing, and reporting. Metrics chosen for use should be defined in the software development plan. Software metrics should 1. Be integral to the developer's processes. 
2. Clearly portray variances between planned and actual performance. 3. Provide early detection or prediction of situations that require management attention. And finally 4. Support the assessment of the impact of proposed changes on the program. Thank you for watching this tutorial on the software development process. For more information please visit the webpage. Congratulations on finishing this tutorial and thanks for visiting ACT Notes.